beautiful soul welcome back to the tarot closet welcome if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining me hello <laughs> my name is christine welcome to another all signs tarot reading all signs love tarot reading all signs love reading and as is pretty much always the case here at the tarot closet all signs love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I want to take a look at the energy that is already beginning to come in. We have the Five of Cups and the Chariot, Mars and Scorpio energy. So your person, your specific person, the person you're here for today, or maybe it's somebody you're not expecting, has a lot of regret, regretting leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. It's regret, it's loss, they're missing you. Look at this face here in this energy. And it's coming here with the chariot, cancer energy and the moon energy. So somebody on the move, something about to change here, literally, they could be physically traveling, <laughs> jumping in their car. But it's also around, well, it's around the moon, it's around the emotions. That's also around opening up and communicating. So it does look like your person is coming here to communicate and it's looking very much like, yeah, there's an apology here. Let's see, because they're definitely feeling a lot of regret and they're moving towards you. And it looks like this communication <laughs> might change everything. Yeah. Okay, so it came here, it came back. I don't know if you saw what just went down, but it stayed there and I thought, Oh, was that supposed to be here as I'm picking up the deck? And then it fell in again. So yeah, it's supposed to be here. And it came in reverse. This is literally, this is the apology. It's asking for forgiveness. They're coming in here. This is, well, it's a healing energy. It's hope after everything that's happened. What's happened? We saw it coming in here in the upright initially. I want to just do some more shuffling while I tell you <laughs> a few things. And yeah, that they were regretting leaving you, feeling like they didn't love you. Abandoning energy is coming through. So leaving from communication, was it leaving the connection? No contact, no communication, yeah, and or in separation. And again, it came back in here very clearly asking for forgiveness with that chariot card. So that is what is going on. The star also wanting to come in here in your partnership placement, Aquarius and Uranus energy. Yeah, this is renewal. It's really clear there has been a cooling off period. It's right here in your partnership placement. But this is also, it's like stars aligning energy. Fate, destiny, of course, a connection to the divine. And this is the renewal. Eight is an action number. It's around some karma too. So they're definitely coming back in here to apologize, having paid off some debt, feeling really not just guilty, but yeah, the regret. It's like something else, you know, for whatever it is that they did. Eight is also connected to infinity. For some of you, this might be around twin flame energy. I know it's not for everybody, but it is here. And that's also an energy of a particular kind of connection, a soul connection energy. And of course, it's truth. It's balance and it's renewal. I want to show you the energy that is coming in here. <laughs> but before I do, I just want to mention that all the decks are linked below and you'll also find all the playlists, of course, today's playlist. And it's called Love Tarot Readings, Messages from Your Person. They're all signs, tarot readings, all signs, love readings. They're love readings for the collective. So that playlist is down below, all 12 zodiac signs. And if you want really specific readings for your twin flame journey, if you are a twin flame and you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in depth twin flame readings below and a lot more. So feel free to explore. Look at the energy that's coming in here. The Four of Wands and Venus and Aries energy in the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. So somebody literally getting some inspiration, and I feel like I gotta tell you with that chariot card, well, it's pretty clear that for a lot of you, this is to an actual event or a place. I mean, it could be a place of residence. It could even be yours or where you were or the past energy, friends or family, an event. It's the Four of Wands. This is a reunion energy, so that much is clear. 
celebratory energy. And look, there's the star as well. It's soulmate energy too. You know, it's incoming soulmate energy. So yeah, it can be around friends and family in person. And we saw that chariot moving toward somewhere, toward you to communicate with this apologetic energy, which came back, forgiveness. But I want to tell you, and this is literally like getting this idea, you know, getting this urge. So jumping in a car and going to something, but it could also be around just sending a message or making a phone call because I know not everybody is able to end the physical separation, but this is definitely, they're definitely coming in here, getting inspired to move toward you and apologize. How exactly that's going down will be different, of course, for everybody. Speaking of which, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Everything won't resonate. So always take what, sometimes it does, always takes what resonates for you and let the rest go. And remember that this is a timeless reading. This is so clear, the reunion energy. And this was also coming out. It's the, th my gosh, this is really, <laughs> really incredibly clear here. Um, before I tell you what's going on, I wanted to remind you that this is a timeless reading. I'm channeling in February, 2024, and you could be here watching in real time, of course, but you could also be here many months or years later. And it is because this is a reading that is meant for you when you find it, it's timeless. This is a faded connection. It means you're here when you're meant to be here quite literally. And also <laughs> clarity, so much clarity in what's going on in your connection. Because we saw that in the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Five of Cups, how they were feeling this regret and wanted to, were thinking about that, wanting to move, want, were wanting to move forward with an apology that they know they've owed you for a long time. We saw the star coming in. And of course, the Five of Cups came back really for a third time. That's also a divine number, divine timing, communication. Landing here in your first position, which is they're asking for forgiveness and more validation of the four of wands and the apology that for some of you also that it's in person it's the three of wands it's mercury excuse me the three of cups mercury and cancer energy and this is celebratory energy it's reunion energy it's a validation of the soul connection here and a strong validation for those of you well for communication but I just want to validate it if the, in fact you can see each other because this can be around an actual event. Again, weddings, celebratory energy around friends and family. And again, it's not just going to be that for everybody because I know not everyone can see each other, but it's mercury energy and it's the cups, it's an emotional energy, it's around the love. It is quite emotional as well. And mercury is the planet of the mind planet of communication and it's actually oftentimes connected to reading and writing and kind of how you normally communicate so if you are normally communicating by sms social media email incredible incredibly strong validation or in person but it can also be phone call voice message however you normally communicate three of swords came back in here or came in here, excuse me, in reverse, a validation of what we already know, Saturn and Libra energy, that they're, they owe you an apology. They're coming in here to apologize. What exactly is that for? You know, a lot of that is tied around the Five of Cups, which very clearly came in, that they regretted leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. Leaving, so abandoning energy, whether that was just not answering a message, not communicating, or running from the connection, ghosting, a kind of a withdrawal, whatever the case is. The apology is really strong. It's a healing energy and it's coming after whatever happened in this three of swords when it was in the upright, the loss, the sadness around it, kind of taking things apart. If you think of it that way, like almost like a surgery, you know, heartbreak. So whatever happened here, how they handled it, the way they left, the way they left you feeling like you know, the way they did it, even if that's how it went down, this is what they're apologizing about. And, you know, the threes are coming here together. And we also did, and we already see that too. I feel like we did, but maybe not. Anyway, that's 33. It's a master number. And that's telling us that, yeah, anything, literally anything is possible here. 
<laughs> it's right below asking for forgiveness and here with the star energy of hope for renewal and clarity. Stars kind of aligning for this to happen again. And it's coming here with the Eight of Pentacles. And by the way, I got to tell you something before I even, well, yeah, before I deliver the message, the star, of course, comes to an eight, so 17, and this is the Eight of Pentacles, and that's an 88. And that is a new stage energy. It's butterfly energy. So it's things, it's like things are changing. Literally, butterfly is coming out. And what does what happens when a butterfly is coming out? It's renewal. So it's a strong validation and a strong energy of healing and working things out. Look, this is so connected here. To, well, everything is connected to the communication, to the apology coming, to the healing energy. Again, whether it's in person or it's going to be via message here. There's sewing needles, buttons, the safety pins, scissors. It's like a sewing box, you know, and that's, that's mending. It's sewing. It's putting something back together. It's healing. And of course, eight again is an action number and it is around some karma and some behavior and they got it <laughs> here and they're coming back in. And again, it's connected to the truth, balance and renewal. Everything is incredibly, this is just one of those readings today, I feel. Ace of Pentacles just kind of wanting to fly out. Yeah, the King of Swords. My gosh. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. So here's the thing. Are they coming in here with an offer too? Because this is like, well, it can be, but I do want to tell you putting time into it. It's also like an investment energy. So like, what are you putting into it? And they are putting a lot of time and heart and healing energy here. So that's also really, really clear. And are they, is, are they bringing something in here in addition to the apology? Does this apology come with more? Is this more than an apology? We need more, <laughs> quite literally. But strong validations of what's going on. This is the King of Swords. It's the Mastery of Swords. It's, and I like the the um, title of that because it's like figuring it out and literally the king of swords gemini and mercury energy more mercury energy here has been thinking for a long time about whether they're going to see you where they're going to see you what they're going to say or what they're going to say through communication even if they're not going to see you it's very intentional energy and it's strategic so it's like a strategy around what they want to say but again, we saw that chariot card coming in, which is a strong validation for a lot of you of the actual movement, you know, of travel, getting in a car, walking across the street, taking a train, plane, whatever. <laughs> so I know that that's not for everyone, but for those of you that that is validating, it is here. And it could be that there's a pl planning out of, you know, travel arrangements, quite literally. But it's also just a lot, of course, in general, for those of you that are not um, having that possibility to see each other about what they want to say and is that New York I think that's New York isn't it I feel kind of dumb or is that or is that San, is that San Francisco is that the I, is that the um why am I just <laughs> I'm having a brain fart I'm having a brain fart you guys but um in any case the location energy is here and yeah this king of swords has been thinking for a long time you see them they say that you vote with your feet in Ireland, sticking a foot out, getting ready to get up here, holding on to a sword, which can look a little scary, but not in this energy because this is transactional energy. It's communication, it's truth, it's information. And they're very like, think they're, it's around your relationship, it's clarity. And they've been, again, they've been thinking about this apology, knowing that they need to give this apology for a really long time, but also just, whoa, kind of planning it out. Yeah, and it's around this devil energy. Look, and here it is, the Eight of Cups coming here. Whoa. In reverse, the moon energy. I think that's it. Yeah, we're going to get some more in a moment. Eight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, this is why they're apologizing. Look, it's literally the opposite ends here because they were here in this Eight of Cups energy. Saturn and Pisces energy. Saturn is a planet of restriction. You know, rules can slow things down. Obstacles. Uh, karma. You know, <laughs> they've learned something here. They're coming back here. They've learned their lesson. Whatever they did, they're really, um, they're regretting it and they're sorry. It's, it couldn't really be any clearer. 
Uh, again, there is also this the Ace of Pentacles here, which I feel this is all around that. Are they coming in here wanting something new, wanting to put more time into this, wanting to make an offer? Let's see. We continue moving on. I'm not surprised to see the devil energy here with the Three of Swords. This is what they're apologizing for, too. So we know there's an abandoning energy here. A lot of regret over the loss over them, how they left things, how they did it, what happened. And it's also connected to the devil energy. And again, even with the Eight of Cups, you know, in reverse. It's Saturn and Pisces energy. So, yeah, whatever they did, how they left things, obstacles. And I want to tell you, can, Saturn can also be around some traditions. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of like interference or something to do with cultural, religious differences, maybe even another connection. It's not super, super clear, but it is, I can't ignore the messages that are coming in. But this is also Saturn energy. It's Saturn and Capricorn energy in the Eight of Cups is Pisces. You know, it's quite an emotional energy, pretty intuitive as well. And it's coming here with the Devil card, which is below that Three of Swords, you know, Saturn, again, look at this, all the Saturn energy, Saturn and Libra energy, and Libra is connected to infinity, truth, balance and renewal. Something they did as well, the balance energy, not, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy, of course, within us. And when it's unbalanced, we're making decisions that are not great. <laughs> we all do sometimes. And you want to try to, a lot of things, of course, our chakras, we could just go into this for days, but we're talking about the divine feminine and divine masculine energy at the moment. And when it's out of balance, we are making, you know, bad decisions here. So yeah, there was a decision made how they left things, they regret it, and they're coming in here to apologize. And it is around the devil energy. So, so much Saturn energy, and it can for sure be around, I want to say third party energy, whether it's karmic situation, literally, uh, and romance, or even family interference or just something in their head, cultural, religious differences, whatever, how they left it, there is the attachment here in the devil energy, you know, because it could also be around addictive behavior, obsessive energy with money, gambling, whatever, you know, I mean, and I don't say that lightly, but there's just so much, you know, um, but in a cage here, locked, look with the key right out here, it's also something that they kind of isn't, you know, I, it, they could change it. That's what I want to say. And they're also realizing that now because that message is coming in because they've learned some lesson here. What is that around? Again, there's numerous things I feel like that are at play here. And I also think you already know. The moon is coming here right in between the Ace of, of Pentacles and the Three of Cobbs. Pisces energy, Cancer and Gemini also coming through. This is definitely wanting to communicate in a, a very new way and open up. And this is a revealing energy, what they've been hiding. Yeah, so it could also be around this that you don't even, they're apologizing for more things that maybe you've been waiting to learn, some kind of revealing energy, you know. But yeah, it's also around their feelings. It's also communicating and opening up. And a lot of what maybe previously had been hidden is, is kind of like a lot of the problems that that were uh, that you were having that were caused here. I really like this a lot. It's temperance, Sagittarius energy, restoring balance and harmony, literally. Archangel Michael, the angel for divine protection, strength, healing. Wanting to light the way to the truth for everybody, to get you to the truth, to that sun energy, to an outcome, to a happy outcome for everybody. So for everybody's highest good, an energy of patience, um, kind of, that you've had, but also a message sending that through. And I feel like what might be need, needing to be practiced, actually, okay, so I'm hearing that it's your overall energy today. I like that. I like this a lot for you. This is a really clear for lack of a better <laughs> pun intended, clarity. It, it really is a, a very clear reading. Wow. So the teacher in reverse, that's the Hierophant. Uh, the lovers in reverse. Yeah. So this is regret. It's more validation. This is someone who your person has a lot of regret for how they left things. And it could be that they made a choice around this energy of the Hierophant, divine masculine energy, it's in reverse, it's an imbalance, it's like too much divine masculine energy, you know, 
and Taurus energy. It's also, it's a card of commitments, partnerships, contracts, could even be marriage, could even include some paperwork, you know, but long-term energy. And it's connecting to the lover's card. So it's both the regret, Gemini energy, Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing. It's a regret, they're regretting how they did things. It's regretting a decision here. It's it's the break, it's around the breakup energy. For some of you, it could literally be a divorce. Um, that's not going to be for everybody, but and even some discord and arguing around it. But there, there's definitely regret for the, some bad choices. And yeah, the apology around that. And the hierophant, the thing is, is it's your contract. So whether it's legal or not legal isn't even the point. But it could be that they chose not to move from somewhere. They, they're choosing this obsessive energy in the devil card. They took somebody else's side. They listened to the wrong people. There's somebody in their head, third party energy, like saying, you know, this, or even in their life, cultural, religious differences, this doesn't work. Long distance for some of you. And again, it could even be a karmic situation, but whatever it is, whether it's romantic or not, it's strong. Look, it's going here with the regret, with the apology, right on the other end here of the reading, connecting with this Eight of Cups. The Cosmic Seed, and there's two also coming here. The Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Whoa. So this is kind of a game changer. <laughs> this isn't just an apology. It is clearly an apology. You know, I don't, I don't know how many times <laughs> I can say it, but we know it's, it's already here. Look, it's the, the Ten of Cups just came in. The Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Cosmic Seed. This is infinite potential. It's like you can move between dimensions. It's like an as above, so below energy, making things happen. Look, it's, is that a dandelion? I don't know if that is kind of, is it a dandelion when it's already been blown? In any case, this is a 22 and that's a master number and that's a transitional energy. It's second, a second chance. And it's somebody asking and it's somebody coming in and it's telling us there's a lot of infinite potential. It's moving between the realms. It really is magician energy as well, as above, so below. Look in the stars, the galaxies, things literally lining up here. And that transition energy also came through really strong with our butterfly energy here, the Eight of Cups and the star energy, the transitional energy. And again, um, also the Eight of Wands is here in the Two of Cups. So a strong validation of the communication of course, connecting with it being quite fast. We saw that with the chariot as well. We have the, of course, the king of swords here. This is things about to change with what they have to say to you. And it's coming in really fast. It's news coming in and it is going to change things. The cosmic seed is here. You know, this is really like, what are you, what are you creating with your thought? your power, your influence. It's kind of, it's both of you. You're both here. This is the potential of, yeah, this is like what all the things that you have been wanting here, both of you manifesting. It's second chance energy. I love this for you so very much. And this eight of wands, again, Mercury, Sagittarius energy, however their communication is coming. Do you normally write? Do you normally call? Do you normally see each other? It's really, really fast. It's fiery. It's passionate. It's around matters of the heart. Look, the skies have opened up. That energy here of stars aligning is quite strong and decisions out of the way. Bad decisions here. And they're coming in also with the two of cups. And that's Venus and Cancer energy. And this is an offer. It's a proposal. And it could literally be around marriage. We know that's not for everyone, but it is a proposal energy. It's strong. It's a strong love here. They love you. You love them too. And you're, ener you're still in each other's energy, quite literally. Soulmate energy is really strong here today. They're definitely regretting how they handled things. And it's clear that they regret having messed it up and they don't want to lose you. And the Ten of Cups is here. So were you building a life, a family for some of you together? Had you built it? Was it on the table? It's back on the table. I mean, and that can even just include, um, you could say, blending a family, but 
Also, maybe additions to family could include building houses, changing locations, moving in, meeting up, talking more. Really, it's, it's a, a lot, even introducing families here. Really, really clear. It's like, and it's a do-over, It's or it's going back in. It's the end of the cycle, the no contact, no communication, and or in separation. This is the renewal that we see everywhere here. So this apology is, it's way more than an apology. And it's a sincere apology. It's a very sincere, open, open-hearted, I want to say. Communicating and opening up in a new way. And it's coming with this offer here, this decision that they're making that I feel there's going to be a decision for you too, of course. I mean, you're both here. And this is around the love. It's around the two of you. And again, the twin flame energy, the soulmate energy, it's all uh, very strong here. I know not everybody is on a twin flame journey. And I just realized... The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups um, wanted to connect here. So it's another, another, as if we needed more strong validation of the transitional energy, the butterfly energy. It's a new stage here. Second chances. It's like a second chance to, to, to reach your goals. Again, the manifesting energy also of the magician coming through. And we can see what the goals are here. It is to, for some of you, it's seeing each other. Um... And again, it might even be, if for those of you that can see each other, it could be that it's at an upcoming wedding or something, you know. But that manifesting energy of the apology is really clear and coming together. So now we know that this Ace of Pentacles is coming in here with an offer, kind of moving things up. If You know what I mean? Like, if you think of it like a promotion <laughs> in some ways. But yeah, Three of Cups, talking, communicating, apologizing, coming back together, working things out. And it's just really, really strong. And again, look, even in the Ten of Cups, here's the Two of Cups off here, still in each other's energy, of course. You're in theirs, they're in yours, and that's bringing together the four. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, the Six of Cups right in the front. And how surprising is that? Not really that surprising, is it? Because the Six of Cups is reunion energy. It's nostalgic energy. For some of you, you have known your person for many years, maybe even going back into childhood, but that's also the soul connection, which is really validated here anyway. But it's really, yeah, sometimes it can be dreamy energy, and but it's not today. It is, I mean, it's here, it's the nostalgic dreamy energy, but it's, it's taking the action too. Really, really validated. I have Oracle in <laughs> my hand that is flying around. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse at the moment. I'm just not feeling it. Let's see what's coming in. Any new insight? Wow, that was just flipping over. I, I like this. It's the death card. Why do I like this? Because this is the transformational energy. It's also the death of their ego. It's your person coming back here in a really different vibe. And you know what they're asking for? A second chance. It's telling us that things have changed and things are about to change. Again, it's the transformational energy, really big changes, rebirth. And the death card Scorpio energy is a 13 and that does come to a four. And it's connecting right here because it's a manifesting energy. And it's also the four areas of support and stability, which you need to put on the foundation, you know, and obviously there's been a lot missing here. And we saw the four of wands also coming in, which is a very <laughs> similar energy course also reunion energy coming together whether it's in person or communicating whatever but it's manifesting that all those supports are up on the foundation mental emotional physical and spiritual so everything lining up you know everybody being on board opening up communicating wanting the same things and if location is playing a part being able to come together and also just the physical reality of being able to hello that camera makes me crazy I caught it though. <laughs> so as I was saying is timing, yeah. So it could be that also that that's lining up. If somebody was available, somebody wasn't. Somebody was ready, somebody wasn't. It's lining it all up and being able to put those supports up on the foundation for a safe, new for a new beginning that is just feeling right. Everybody's there, everything's there. And as I was bringing in the message, I was holding on and I looked over to the community card. So yeah, I do feel like there's other people involved and it's all, there's a couple of things here too. It is connecting with the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups that there might be, there. this might be going 
happening or seeing each other around other people, should that be the case. I know it's not for everyone, but this is also an energy of coming together like the two of you coming together here. So of course that's not surprising at all. Hope and wisdom. I really like this a lot. So of course this is bringing in more of the star energy here. The wisdom, I mean, it's bringing in a lot, isn't it? We're talking high priestess energy. We're going into, well, the higher font energy as well. Some learning energy. We're talking hangman energy. A lot of energy coming in here. And I want to tell you the owl is a Scorpio. <laughs> and they are about transformations, inner transformations. And they're, they're kind of, they're independent. They sort of work behind the scenes and they can sometimes hold back some of their emotions, but they're very loyal to their owl, to keeping predators away, interesting, and food. I almost said Essen, which is food here in Austria, you know, and yeah, so there's three things there. So that's really interesting. And so they're definitely learning what's important to them, you know, and it's a lot of around the regret and the feelings that they have and the loss, the regret, knowing what they did was just a total mistake. They've learned from it. This is somebody who's just really not just coming in asking for forgiveness. They're coming in with that. It's real clear. But it's, no, really, I, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking, energy. That was so stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Please forgive me. I love you. Please forgive me. I love you. It's so strong, hopeful energy coming here with the star card. Divine messenger leading us here to what looks like, what looks to be the sun energy, which is burning off all the clouds, the indecision, the bad decisions. And connecting with the star energy here with the hope for renewal and the cosmic seed, which is infinite potential. After the storm energy, yeah, look, letting go of all of the hurt, everything that has happened here. It's the storm. It's like after the storm passed and then being able to release that. It's also interesting because I just got a vision. The, Of course, the lightning bolts can be connected to tower energy, right? And I think, didn't we already, didn't we see that coming in in reverse in the deck? No, I don't think we did. But anyway, I'm seeing it. And that's like a fear around changes, you know, of maybe around some commitment stuff. But in any case, the lightning bolts can cause fire, and fire is a destroyer, as Mother Nature does when it has, when things have happened to whatever it's burned. The embers have cooled, the smoke has cleared, the ground has time to renew and heal. It starts to, to sprout up, and you know, you see mushrooms first, they're regenerative. You see things come up that you didn't know were there that maybe are harmful, and you have a chance to get them out. You can replant. So I also got that vision of the new fertile ground and sort of almost releasing seeds too. So that's a really interesting message. It's kind of a, a double <laughs> a double whammy here. Yeah, so a release of everything that's happened. Oh gosh, look, it's actually wanting, it needs to be here. With that double energy, uh, the detaching and the releasing of that but also the replanting here. Goodness, the voice and balance. I love this for you because the energy does feel really good here. I don't feel this, any of that at all. It feels very open and sincere and real. I really like this right in front of the sun connecting here with the five of cups, which came back really for all intended purposes three times and now it's landed in forgiveness. The voice, that's a communicative energy, communicative, you're together here, look. And you're standing on the world, which brings in the world, which is Leo, Scorpio, <laughs> Taurus, and Aquarius. And that's a completion energy. And that's divine number, divine timing, communication. It's obstacles out of the way, karmic debts paid, soulmate energy. Communicating here, connecting with the Three of Cups, the King of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Moon energy, which is right here off from the Earth and balance coming here, which is connected to what we're wanting here, which is what is showing up here, balance and renewal. And look, they say you vote with your feet in Ireland, and the feet here are planted in with roots here. There's no weeble wobbling here. It's like the messengers can go now. 
Messages have been received. Conflict being resolved, getting resolved. Conflict resolution, excuse me, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them, of course. Karmic debts paid. An action being taken. Manifesting abundance. Truth balance, literally here in the eight birds, truth balance and renewal in the long-term commitment rooted energy. So whether this is around location, houses, moving, next level, commitment, whatever it is, it's here. And I think at this point, you probably already know <laughs> what's going on. It wants to be right here with the uh, right on top of the Ten of Cups. Your reading has been for no other way to put it, really, it's otherworldly, clear, clear, really clear, but otherworldly. I really like this for you. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. And I think today I'm also going to bring in some, yeah, today I'm going to bring in some numbers and letters. So divine messages, numbers and letters, we'll be bringing in Definitely some angel messages, could be birth dates, locations, excuse me, birth dates, ages, you know, they're, they're going to mean a lot of things to you. And of course, the letters oftentimes spell out names and messages, locations, that's what I wanted to say. So we'll get there in just a moment. I don't want to lose you forever. So strong, this energy. Regret. Look, the lovers in reverse also connected to the two of cups in the upright. The regret for how, for leaving, for whatever else happened here with this devil energy. Not wanting to lose you. Loving you. And I mean, it's just clear. I spy on you. <laughs> That's the page of swords energy. Watching. So if you are connected through friends and family, it could be that it's even just talking to other people. But if you are, if they're able to see something on social media or Google, then that's probably how they're doing it. Do you think of me too? We have a deep soul connection. Yeah, that is really clear. Do you think of me too? I saw that coming in. Telepathy, I think of you all the time. That's the two of cups connection here. Yeah, so I think of you all the time. Do you think of me too? I think of you all the time. There is so much left unsaid. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here with the King of Swords and the voice. I just realized that. It's interesting, it just reminded me of the show, The Voice, so maybe somebody here is a singer. But that's just a kind of a random message. <laughs> you are my person. Two of Cups, excuse me. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I've never felt like this. Star energy, hope. The cosmic seed. Like, again, connecting to that magician energy, manifesting as above, so, be so below. Taking inspired action. Infinite potential. The wisdom here of the olive never felt like this before. The knowing energy. We're going to bring in some numbers and letters now. A, M, C, X, and J. So remember, initials, locations, it can spell things out. Sometimes I get really weird and I just like spell things out forever. <laughs> I'll try not to do that today. I'll hold it up so you can pause the camera and then you're able to sort of uh, spell some things yourself. We have quite a few vowels here. We have an E and an I and an A and a U. And you could technically use this zero as an O. So A E I O U, you have all the vowels here. A E I I O U, that's interesting too. I O U, I O U what? Is it money? An apology. I O U, an apology. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, that was just really clear, wasn't it? So there's two M's H R, it's like human resources, Q. 
QR, Q code, <laughs> QQ, question, D. Here's another A. And numbers, what do we have for our numbers today? We could, This came in today and you're reading 33, master number, anything is possible. We also have this succession of things moving. Look, six, five, six, seven, eight. That's like building up. Five, six, seven, eight, and also a 66. My gosh, which is out of balance, which we know is coming into balance here. Where did it go? There, it's there. Balance and renewal. And again, this is a buildup energy. So it's like a progressive number is what it's called, you know, and it's when things are progressing and moving here up to literally, we could even go here up to a 10 and we could even do this if you really wanted to get technical here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. All the way deducing into a one, the new beginning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, so this is just super clear. It also left a six here, which is really interesting because that's restoring harmony. It's a healing energy between two people. So I'm going to try not to spend too much time on this, but I can already see man, you know, not that that's not going to mean can. We can also see max with an X. You see where this is going? We can see R-O-B, Rob. We can see C, well, C-A-R, car. We saw that in the chariot. Bring your own what? Look, B-Y-O. <laughs> Is somebody stinky? Here's a B-O. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly now. See, this is why I don't spend that much time spelling things out because I just get really silly. And also I just get really into it. I could be here for a really long time delivering your messages here. So I'm gonna hold it up for you. A dam, like a dam breaking, emotional dam too. Tam, anybody here in Australia? Tim Tams, that's interesting. But then we also have Tim, look. We have a Tim here. We have a mad here, somebody possibly still mad. M-A-D, ma'am, ham. I mean, it's, the possibilities really are endless. You've, you've got a really good pull here today. So I'm going to leave this up for you. I'll try to get your vowels back in order <laughs> so you can look at them and See what this means for you. You might have already heard something. So hopefully you pause that. If not, you can go back and pause it. Beautiful Souls, your reading was really, it was magical today. I really enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did too. It's, it's a really great reading. Lots of hopeful energy here, literally. The hope card is also here. I'm sending you so much love and light and hoping for the best outcome for you here with Archangel Michael for the highest good of everybody involved. Thanks for watching. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps to keep the channel moving, watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. So thank you, thank you for that. Take care of yourself. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. And yeah, until then, bye.